What a difference five months of wood chip makes. Let's start over here. So we got this log in which we're gonna use this drill to put in these plugs of Ericium arenaceus, lion's mane mushroom. That should last a, a good long time making that. We've got uh, that one up in the back corner is we just finished with. Moving right along. This, uh, this is a bed of uh, inoculated uh, with King Stropharia mushroom and I don't know if you can see the height difference in the f part that's flattened out versus the trail and there's our there's a trail going over the middle it's more pronounced over here where the older stuff is starting to break down there's another bed right there of Kingstroferia and the reason we've got this all of this stuff dug out is that it was starting to break down and turned into dirt which we which there's a terrible shortage of dirt around here and so that's why we have this piled up uh, the older stuff and we put some fertilizer on it to hopefully accelerate that I'll get to that in a second this is the bottom of this is buried down uh, still on top of a bed of wood chip and you probably can't see the holes in the video but yeah you can look at that okay so all those holes we've plugged with spawn plugs this I'm sure you can see the color difference there uh, I've used micronutrient fertilizer on this and Job's with biozome and no they didn't pay me to say that uh, so going over our equipment here uh, there's a sprayer I use for the micronutrient fertilizer which comes from Peaceful Valley Farm Supply at GrowOrganic.com and the reason I use this which uh, we got from a, a big box store unfortunately but uh, Oppenheimer Bio sold the uh, um, rights to Job's of this particular set of microbes that they developed called Biosome. And is very good at breaking down, helping break down organic material. The limiting nutrient in cellulose decomposition is usually nitrogen, so a little bit of nitro in that fertilizer hopefully will help to speed this process up we're gonna mix that down with sand I got a pile I got the spot very nearly cleared to have a dump truck come in here and dump a whole bunch of sand in there and that this is where our first block of seedlings is gonna go is in this hole right here and I'm gonna make another video on exactly how we get around using any pot and for the most soil conservative seedling setup I could figure out and we get our nice trail here starting to get packed down um, with uh, with the Kingstrophoria in here this will continue to make mushrooms all over this entire area because of the wood chips that they feed on for years and years and years so we'll never never run out of mushrooms when they are at the fruiting temperature uh, as long as we're going on about products this thing will totally save your back and carries about twice as much as the largest wheelbarrow and costs about twice as much as the largest wheelbarrow only because it has four wheels you never have to pick it up all right the spud fork is actually useful when we get intake on uh, dump trucks of wood chips uh, because it's helpful to break it up but it's very unhelpful for throwing it 
uh, wide rake to flatten out, to rake flattening out, um, electric drill, uh, and uh, so this is really, well, let's see, the only other things that we use for the total of this operation are these here, hay forks, which are very useful for throwing wood chip uh, when it gets dumped out in piles. And hopefully we'll get more. We always need more. Always, always.